<laughs> He's got to eat my trout. <laughs> the dog's eating my trout, guys. <laughs> no, you're good. Welcome to College Fisherman E-Town. Today we're going to be trying to ice fish for some rainbow trout. We're out here at beautiful Beaver Lake in Marble, Colorado. Uh, right now we're just kind of walking on the ice. Never ice fished in Colorado before. Super pumped to try it out and let's go catch some trout. Fish on. Oh, this is awesome. First rainbow trout of the day. <laughs> He's a good size eater. We're going to keep four of them today. It's our limit. And stop flopping, please. Beautiful rainbow trout. Perfect size eater. This is awesome. Put him on ice. I caught him on the the Northland buckshot spoon. Did you get any yet? You'll get one eventually. <laughs> There's one. Fish on. Hey. <laughs> oh, it came right off. Keeper number two. He's a little smaller, but that's all right. All right, guys. All I'm doing here is uh, I'm dropping my spoon down to the bottom. It's a little frozen. All the way to the bottom, which is only like two to three feet deep, which is crazy. And as soon as that thing ever stopped freezing over. It hits the bottom like that, your line will go slack and just take two or three reels off from the bottom. And I'm kind of, I'm violently jigging it and then I'll let it sit for about three to five seconds. And in that three to five seconds, that's usually when they hit it. Uh, trout are kind of roamers, so it's kind of hard just to set up the hut and uh, fish for them. I mean, you could, but you just have to sit there and you know, hope that one swims by eventually. Or you can drill 5,000 holes and drop into them like two minutes each to see if one's around in the area. And you kind of call them into the hole. You need to keep digging. Oh, there's another one. Fish on. Oh, good one. There we go. It's a good little eating fish. Gonna be, a lot of that over there. gonna be some weed bass over here. And over there is uh, ice skating rink. An ice skating rink? Yeah, all. all right, guys, we're gonna check how much ice we're actually fishing on. Simple trick, just kind of take your ladle that you've been using, or if you even have a ladle, or you can do this with your auger as well, and stick it under the edge of the ice. I don't know if you guys can see that. And Mark, we're on about what was that eight inches of ice looks about eight inches of ice to me uh there's been snowmobiles out here so i hope there's eight inches of ice let's see if we can catch some more
All right, guys, we just caught our limit. So it's all catch and release from here. That sun just went down from the mountains. It's absolutely beautiful out here. Look at that. Did you get anything? Uh, no? no? That's all right. But thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Got one. Whew. There's a good one. Whew. It's another beautiful trout. Get him back in the water as fast as we can. And here's the release. There he goes. It's number five. Two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven holes out here. Got to see him. Need one more. Oh, it was grass. Got me a grass bass. Yeah, that's gross. Oh. Oh, my rod tip. Oh. Well. You broke your rod. That sucks. Look at that. I just broke the rod tip. The reel fell off. and Okay, that was a disaster. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, catching these trout through the ice was a lot of fun, especially with all the scenery. It's just, it's just beautiful out here. Uh, this is out at Beaver Lake in Marble, Colorado, and I highly recommend it. We were fishing about eight inches of ice, and I caught all my fish on a rattling spoon. And yeah, we ended up catching five of them, kept four of them, released that last one you guys just saw. And uh, stay tuned for more episodes of College Fisherman Etow.